right so hey guys welcome back to my channel for tutorials so guys today i'll teach you how to create new style of 3d text effect with using element 3d plugin and guys see that's my simple texture guys you can download this texture from my website and now guys i teach you how i create this type of beautiful 3d effect so stop and guys go to on here create new composition yes and click on here guys duration 10 second is good and use full sd frame so press ok yeah and guys i take text tool and type your letter like this so guys go to on alignment alignment check right see guys that's my really stylish font so guys select this one and guys i create new composition this time like e3d so press ok yeah and go to on project and right click import and import file Guys, I have texture, so import. See, guys, that's my texture, like this. See, right? Okay, so guys, drag and drop on last. So hide this layer, hide text one, and select this E3D layer, and go to on effect, and I apply Element 3D plugin. Yes. So guys, go to on custom layer, custom text, and take letter like A, and second one, I apply color texture so guys go to on here screen setup check yes okay so firstly guys click on extrude and guys i increase segments so go to on path resolution use extreme yes and guys this time i create new material that's my new material so guys go to on diffuse and diffuse use color like this and brightness i like 50 so press ok and emulsion guys use color and brightness 50 and press ok yes so guys go to down and go to on emulsion here and use diffuse color check and intensity i like 20 and guys apply this text this material on text yes okay so guys this time go to on here bevel that's my material and guys see that's my extrude so increase increase extrude like five is good five yeah but guys uv also change so go to on text layer and go to on uv see guys uv check and uv repeat i like five and five enter yes right see guys that's my simple text and next one guys i apply one more extrude so click so guys firstly select your first text this one color and expand edge this one i like minus one enter yes and select second one second text and expand edge one enter yes so go to on here like this yeah see guys that's my text and next one guys this time i apply chrome material so go to on presets physics and apply chrome material yes see okay so now guys i change color so select your color chrome and guys go to down guys see that's my reflection reflectivity color i like red like this yes yeah and press ok see guys that's my red color okay so now guys duplicate this text press ctrl d and go to back like this yeah it's good see guys that's my text right okay so now guys this time i apply background plane and guys plane double sided check guys go to on scale size i like 15 and 15 enter and orientation i like 90 check yes so go to back like this yeah and now guys i apply material so guys select your black outline material apply to black background yeah it's good and next one guys i create beautiful reflection on background so guys select your plane and go to on here black outline material go to on up guys go to basic setting and glossiness i like 
18, 80 percent and right click on this plane, guys go to reflection mode and use mirror surface, check, yes, see guys that's my beautiful reflection, right, and now guys I increase reflection intensity, so guys select your black outline material and see guys reflectivity intensity are like 100, enter, yes, it's good and go to last, See guys, that's my advance and math reflectivity check. Yes. See guys, that's my beautiful reflection. Right? It's really good. Okay, so now, guys, this time I apply lighting, use aqua like this for more brightness. Yes, it's really bright color. And guys, go to on environment texture check. Guys, see that's my HDR environment. And environment brightness I like 15. Yes. And go to on UV repeat. I like 2 and 2. Yes. That's it guys. So press OK. Yeah. That's it. See guys. That's my beautiful shiny 3D text. Right. And guys all is good. So press OK. So guys my 3D text effect is finished. Now guys I apply some color correction and depth. So use camera. And camera check guys set your camera so closer and rotate like this closer yeah see guys that's my simple camera angle and guys select your camera and press P position check and go to on last like a 10 second and guys position change like this yeah it's good yes okay so guys go to back and play yes see guys that's my simple camera movement animation and now guys go to back little bit back little bit back and go to camera angle yes and guys play yeah simple okay so now guys you can change also resolution so guys for fast preview half yes that's it right okay so now guys i use full resolution and now guys go to on e3d layer and go to on render setting physical environment is good go to lighting and use aqua like this yeah little it's looking really good and go to on guys and back illusion check and back region check and guys intensity I like 3 and radius 2 and guys quality I use high is good yes that's it guys right okay so now guys all is good so go to back and play yes and now guys this time I create more glossy effect on this texture so select your E3D layer and duplicate press ctrl D like a E3D glow yes and guys select your e3d glow go to output and guys show to change emulation like this yeah and guys mode i change add yes and now guys this time i apply adjustment layer go to on top and guys go to effect and preset and type glow select and apply to adjustment layer like this yes See guys, that's my beautiful effect. And now, guys, threshold 100, radius 100, enter. Yes. And guys, duplicate this glow, press Ctrl D, and radius, I like 300 is good. Enter. Yes. See guys, that's my final 3D text effect. It's looking really good. Right. And now, guys, this time, you can also apply depth of field effect. So go to on camera. And guys, go to camera position check. Guys, see that's my blur level. I like 50 and aperture 50. And guys, depth of field check. And focus distance, guys, manually change. So focus distance check. And guys, select your camera, press U. Focus distance, guys, like a 800 is good. My focus. So go to a, like a 5 second. And focus change, like a 500. 
yes and go to on last guys focus change like a 700 yes much better and guys go to like a two second focus distance change like 600 enter yes and guys go to on like a eight second and focus change like 550 more guys change 650 yes much better right and guys go to back and play yes see guys that's my simple depth of field effect it's looking really good and lastly guys this time i apply light so use guys go to on here solid layer like a light enter guys go to on up select your light and the guys this time i apply optical flare yes and click on here option guys i have lots of presets so guys go to on here 50 yes see guys that's my different different style of light you can apply anyone is depending on your work i like this one yeah it's really good so guys press ok and go to on here guys light i like add and guys intensity guys brightness like a 30 yeah really cool and guys go to on here flicker and flicker speed i like 20 amount 20 enter yes so guys go to back and play yes see guys that's my beautiful shiny effect and last one guys you can create more reflection effect on this one metal so guys go to on e3d layer and screen setup check yeah and guys go to on here that's my text and right click go to reflection mode and use spherical yes and same right click so reflection mode spherical and lastly guys right click go to reflection mode and use spherical yes see guys that's more shiny effect more realistic so guys press ok yes much better and same on here glow so guys go to on reflection go to on screen setup check and guys reflection this one first text reflection mode spherical and guys same spherical and lastly spherical yes that's it guys right that's my final work so press ok yes more realistic view and guys press play see guys that's my final 3d text effect it's looking really shiny and beautiful so guys that's it if you like my video please share and please subscribe my youtube channel and guys you can download project file and texture from my website it's free thank you